This is a special night of a special service. It's a good night. It's a great night. The night threatened with rain outside. The sky may have turned to dark. It may even get cold later tonight. But right here and right now, our Lord is in our midst. And he is honored and he is praised when lives come to him in hope and in faith. So I know you said your family was going to come and that's why we picked this special time. A few extra people showed up. A few extra family members to remind us to join the body of Christ means to be connected to one another. Those whom we know and love and those whom we have never met. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. And so this isn't a particularly long service. But I hope that it is a blessing. And I know for proof positive, it will be good. For Christ our Lord is good. And baptism is one of his promises of grace and favor and mercy and salvation. And God keeps his promises.
when we die in the waters of baptism and are reborn to new and everlasting life. This is our opportunity then to reflect that love back to Him, back to He who loved us first, to our Lord who chose us before we ever thought of choosing Him. This is our response to the love of a father who would send his one and only son that we and his world might be saved through him. And so we come forward in faith, in hope, and in trust. And in the sacrament of baptism, our outer selves are washed, our outer selves drown. And our spirits are made new. <coughs> our lives are born again. We are raised to new life through his gift, through his grace, and through his love. A sacrificial, all-encompassing, all-enduring love like the love of a mother for children. Like the love of family and friends. Like the love that we might see and know that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. For that love will bind us together through those waters of baptism. One Lord, one faith, one body, his body, and we will be connected, each of us. From Jackson to Ella, and both to their mom, and all three of us, to friends and family gathered here, to friends and family who are not here, <coughs> to friends and family they have never met, through friends and family and denominations across this city and country and throughout the world, throughout time, throughout space, through every tribe, language, nation, and people. Christians who have gone on into God's presence and those who are yet to be born. And we are knit together into one body, into his body. And we are connected. And we are never, never, <clears throat> never alone. Children are never, never, never alone. For in his hands we are safe. And those whom we love are safe as well. For though the storms of life rage and the seas roll, we may even be overcome. Even still and always, it is well. It is well with our souls, for we know now in whose hands we safely belong, and we can never be snatched away. For this is the promise of God through baptism, and God indeed keeps his promises. So in good times and in bad, in hard times and suffering and in joy, in sickness and in health, even till death do us part, we part only for but a little while, for in his hands, and knit together into his body, it is well. It is well with our souls now and forever. And so this is what we do now. We respond together as a part of this new family, his family, regardless of what church you go to, what part of town you live in. If you've traveled, or just up the road. The family of God has gathered now. 
and to know this, you are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, those you see and those you cannot. And this family is here now in praise of God and for you. So if you're willing to act as a sponsor, I would invite you now to join me with the reading in yellow. We, we present, present Jennifer Jackson and Ella Parker to receive the sacrament of baptism. seeing that the candidates you present are brought up in the Christian faith and life. Will you by your prayers and witness help them to grow in the full stature of Christ? So for each of you three, do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? 
You renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? in their life in Christ. We do. Let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. I don't know what happened. Huh? Well, question, we'll give the answer. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God. The Father Almighty. Father Almighty. Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ. His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day rose again. He ascended into heaven. Seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church. The Holy Catholic Church. The communion of saints. The communion of saints. The forgiveness of sins. The forgiveness of sins. The resurrection of the body. The resurrection of the body. And the life everlasting. And the life everlasting. This is where Father Davis just made stuff too difficult on himself. Okay? The proper answer is I will with God's help. You got it? Will you continue the apostles' teaching and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will be with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall to sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will be with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will be with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will be with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with God's help. Let us now pray for these persons who are to receive the sacrament of new birth. And if you'll simply answer each petition with Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of your spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world and witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant to Lord that all who are baptized in the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Especially the kids, if you can't see, scooch forward. This is worth it. <laughs> Since the times of the early church, it was preferable to do a baptism on what they referred to as living water, water that was moving, streams, rivers. It showed with its movement that life of the Spirit representing that new life and new birth. I have always been unsuccessful in finding a vestry who will agree to build a river or a stream inside the church. So I just simply make the water live as best as I can. 
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through you let through you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt and into the land of promise. And of your son, Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin and into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection, and through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, those who are here cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. You think I'm making a show. St. Stephen's people, do I do this every time? Let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified. Proclaim his resurrection. And share with us in his eternal creatures. It's a fancy way of saying, please welcome the world's newest Christian.
that Christ dwelling in your hearts by faith, each of you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Please stand. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the peace of God, which passes all, all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you, remain with you always. Amen. Amen. We have a little reception uh, right over here. Instead, your family is here to bless and celebrate with you. Let us go forth into the world.